Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a brand new video and it's actually going to be a first impressions video. So if you guys are interested in finding out my thoughts about, okay, I definitely should have been prepared, the Mac Pat star collection then please stay tuned and also if you're not subscribing hit the button down below that's going to help you stay up to date with my channel so when I saw this collection on trend mood I was shook like Patrick Star had a collection in the fall and I was kind of like debating the lipsticks look nice but they were kind of like nudes and I was like they're nice Patrick but you know they're not anything that would make me like run to MAC or put a MAC order in. So I kind of just did pass on them. But then this summer collection came out and it was just flawless. Like look at this floral. It's perfect for spring. I'm really sad I didn't make it to Toronto for his master class, class because I was watching that on Instagram and it just looks so fun and he just looks so fun. And the products look amazing. So this video too is in collaboration with my friend Shannon. She's gonna be reviewing the Me So Chic collection. So if you wanna see that collection, definitely check out her channel. So I'm just gonna begin here. I am gonna do a demo on the look I have right now. I'm actually going to work after this, so I didn't, I had to tone it down a little bit. Um, but the collection has four pieces. It's $59.50. You can get it on the MAC website. Um, both of them and that was in Canadian. I think it's $49.50 for the states and it is on the Alta website too. So the collection actually has four pieces like I said and they all have this beautiful floral design. Um, this one is called the Play With Me Eyeshadows and the colors are In Living Pink, All's Rosy, Hickey and In The Shadows. So this is like this blue has been like blowing up like Instagram lately. Kim Kardashian had that blue party and now this blue eyeshadow and that's kind of like what everybody's looks center around so I really like this and you'll see my thoughts on the shadows. I'm impressed. Um, the next thing it came with was this beautiful blush duo and of course it's in this beautiful compact which is pink and it has a mirror and these are the pretty blushes so this is called the Take Me Home Powder Blush Duo. And I really like these as well. And to top it all off, we have two lip products. So we have this lipstick and it is called Hey Boy Hey. And it's the Retro Matte Formula Lipstick from MAC. So this is what it looks like. It's like that beautiful berry color, which I love. The only thing I find about these lipsticks though is that they do transfer. That's just something that MAC lipsticks always do. And then there is this lip gloss, and it is called, what is this called? On the back too, it has everything. Shit, I do not know what this is called. I cannot find the name. I don't know, but there's this mysterious lip gloss, which if I had my phone handy, I'd look up the name, um, but they have this. So all this is together. I don't think you can buy it individually. So it is part of the set, but I think it's not a bad value, like getting these products. Um, MAC products are really good too. Like MAC is coming back. Like they definitely are. I, I'm falling in love with a lot of their stuff lately. So what I'm what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump into the demo so if you guys are interested in finding out my thoughts on the products let's go to the demo okay so now I'm just going to jump into the demo so I have already did my face I do have some powder under my eye um, to bake but also to to prevent any fallout so I'm just gonna begin here um, this looks not gonna be too crazy I do have to go to work and I actually have to interview people today so I do need to keep it a little bit toned down um, so I'm going to begin with this Dusty Rose color, and I'm just going to put, blend this into my crease. Okay, a lot, or a little goes a long way. Oh my god. I'm going to put it into my other crease. Okay, so there's the mauve color. I will warn you that 
a little goes a long way so you just need a really light hand unless you want like something crazy um, so I'm actually just gonna take this hot pink color and I think I'm gonna put this on my outer V blend it in my crease a little bit more pink actually is not um it doesn't glide on as easily it's not as creamy as the mauve one i'm obsessed with that okay so my camera is like playing with me so it skipped when i was putting the blue so i'm just putting the blue um basically from my inner eye to my outer eye. So I'll just do this eye because my stupid camera just stopped recording. I really like this blue, I think it looks pretty. You do have to build it up a little bit though. I like it. Now I'm gonna just take this pencil brush and do this little shimmer on my inner corner. I think that's pretty and now I'm just gonna do my lower lash line and I'm just gonna use the mauve color. nice um, so that is the eyeshadow palette so just to recap what I did I used the mauve color in the crease I mixed it with a little bit of the hot pink I put the blue all over my lid and put this in my inner corner and then at the bottom I just used the mauve um, so that is what I did in terms of my eyeshadow look so now it's time to do blush so this is the beautiful blush palette um, so, I think I might do this one. I think I'm just going to put a little tiny bit. I have to remember, like, I'm going to work, so. I'm just going to take a little bit of the lighter blush. Put that over. Okay. Okay. So, the blush is done. I think it's pretty. I think it looks good with my skin tone. I am noticing around my nose, like, a little bit of fallout. So, it looks like, actually, the blue is the color that had the most fallout. Um, so, let's do the lipstick. Does anyone love the smell of MAC lipsticks? I find they smell like cookies and vanilla. It's so yummy. Okay, there is the lipstick. I really like this. And I'm just going to put a little bit of lip glass on it. I feel like I'm going to be like all vamped out for work today. And... I just put a little tiny bit on the center of my lips. So that was the demo with the products. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup. Of course, I need to wipe this powder off. I need to get a little bit of highlight on and then I will be back with my final thoughts and my final look. Okay, so here is my completed look. I, of course, added a little bit of highlight, the Emerizy, loving that. And of course, took that powder off my eye. Um, I just did do like a little minimal like wing and I just put some mascara on the all my mascara and the Smashbox full exposure. I'll link them down below. Um, so in terms of this collection, I really enjoyed it. I think it's actually helped me get out of my comfort zone. Usually if you guys notice I'm wearing like, um, like 
light pinks or like warm colors but like this blue and I think it looks really good with my brown eyes so I really enjoyed this collection um the blush is really pretty I think it's like it's not as neutral as I thought it would be but I think it's really nice um, and I really like this quad. I really love that blue. And the pinks are just gorgeous too. I think it's going to be really nice for summertime. And of course this lipstick. I just love these colors anyway. And it's just very creamy. It's like that signature like MAC lipstick. MAC is like, they're the best lipsticks. There's no question about that. The only company, and it's funny, two Canadian companies kind of are my favorite for lipsticks, um, Bite and MAC. So Canadians know how to make their lipstick. Um, and also too, like this is just really pretty. I haven't tried it like as much as I'd like um, because I just dabbed it on the center of my lips, but I definitely think it can be fun. So I really enjoyed this collection. I'm really excited to see how Shannon's turns out. So make sure to check the video down below where you can see um, what the Me So Chic collection looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like me to do some more makeup videos. I know I haven't been doing as many lately, but I need to step my game up. So don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've tried these products. And I thank you so much for all your love and support. And I hope you have a great day.